begins. Having lived in southern Utah for over eight years now, I have yet to experience Bonneville Salt Flats. And today we're taking the boys. We're hooked up to our side by side. The truck is loaded to the max with all sorts of things that we probably won't need. But we are off to Bonneville Salt Flats. It's a five hour drive from St. George. Super excited. Always wanted to go there ever since. Like before I even moved to Utah, that's pretty much the only thing that I knew about this beautiful state is that there's a lake where people set all sorts of speed records. It took us about five and a half hours to drive to Wendover, Utah, only to realize that perhaps people on the internet were right that winter time is not the best time to come and visit this area because there's literally water standing on top of Bonneville Salt Flats and it would be extremely unsafe to attempt to drive on its surface because you would literally sink through into some really sticky mud. So I've been warned that uh, Salt Flats may not be ideal to visit especially during the winter months. I figured November wasn't as bad yet, but uh, take a look at that. There's literally water standing on top of that salt. Chances of us driving this or even our Can-Am are pretty much not happening. Well, it's a five hour drive to see this. It's not looking like we're getting our Can-Am out today, huh? <laughs> well, we don't give up easy. We were persistent and after driving up and down I-80 we found a wayside right by the rest area where you could drive out right on the lake and it was nice and dry but if you plan on visiting this area the best time to come is about the last week of summer usually the last week of July is the Bonneville Speed Week although you may want to check the Bureau of Land Management calendar for all the specific events and that is exactly when you can come and see some of the fastest land speed records being set here. Walking and driving on the surface of this lake felt absolutely surreal and you definitely realized really quickly you're driving on salt because as the tires would kick it up you could literally taste it in the air and later in this clip you'll see that our English Bulldog Diesel was doing exactly that. As you can see, Diesel figured this thing out pretty quickly. He would pop his head out every few seconds, get a few licks in, experience some salt, and then pop back into Can-Am. So if you're planning a trip to the Bonneville Salt Flats and you have a pup, definitely bring them along. This place is very dog-friendly and your four-legged friend will love you for this adventure. Bonneville Speedway is known for all sorts of land speed records that were set here by all sorts of vehicles and people since pretty much the beginning of time. In 2021, a speed record of 466 miles per hour was recorded by a blown LS powered streamliner. 
And of course, as you would imagine, our entire crew had to do their best at setting their speed records. Here's Meatball's attempt. Our Can-Am was certainly not the fastest thing to ever race the Bonneville South Flats, but it was still really cool to have the ability to lay flat on the gas pedal without having to worry about slamming the brake anytime soon. Bonneville Speedway currently does have a speed limit at an astonishing 1,000 miles per hour, so I think we're safe. this incredible sunset it is absolutely unreal totally feels like another planet be so stay in here honey stay in here babe Are you having fun? Good boy. Good boy. No. These are so curious. Some grab going. What's on the menu? Mm -hmm. You guys being spoon fed again? <laughs> they make the cutest noises. It's a rep. Today was a success. I was a little bit disappointed earlier, but as it turns out, there's a wayside right off of I 80 that let us come out and explore this after all. Well worth the five hour drive. Morning. It was our humble abode for the night. We decided to avoid <coughs> luxurious amenities of Wendover and travel all the way to Provo to uh, score this room. Michonne was awesome at selecting it. And we're taking turns going down to get breakfast because these guys are guard dogs. They turn into ferocious guard dogs in the hotel room. So we literally cannot leave them alone for even a minute because they start barking. Either they're paranoid that we left them or they just need to defend their room. Now look at this, not bad. Take a guess what these accommodations cost us. A nice microwave, fridge, super modern room. What did it cost us? 130 with tax included. That was a killer deal. Mm -hmm. And look at this view. Provo is beautiful. And there's some coffee in walking distance. Trucks down there. Taking up like four spots right now. Okay, my turn for breakfast. Pretty decent menu. Baver Creamery. What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? I have no idea. to stop at this place for a while. And I feel like we have. Six months ago, Baver Creamery has a has a ring to it, doesn't it?
Ouchies. This guy got his water and his treat. Meatball is preoccupied supervising the scene. How is it? Get down. No, you need to get down. There's a lot going on right now. This guy loves french fries. This place has dog treats, of course. So the boys are having some lunch. Where are you going with that, sir? <laughs> oh, and he puts it down. Yep, 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 strong kicks, strong kicks, <laughs> strong kicks. This place has a little dog park right beside it too. Our boys are huge fans. Guys, if you're passing through on your way back from Salt Lake to St. George, or just in general driving south or north, leaving Southern Utah, this place is absolutely a must. I would highly recommend visiting it. They have delicious food, great atmosphere, and plenty of stuff to do for your kids. It seems like a really cool, kid-friendly place. Definitely give it a shot next time you're in the area. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you found it useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.